<laughs> now, let's get this straight, old chap. You mean to say that you and the rest of the, of the Dick Van Dyke cast are going to challenge me and the other regulars on Stump the Star? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> well, you mean you're going to try and beat us as our own game? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Tonight? I mean, I mean, right now, here, just in 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, then, old chap. Challenger. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> From Hollywood, the entertainment capital of the world, it's time for the fastest half hour in television. It's Stump the Stars, created by Mike Stokey. And brought to you by the Ralston Purina Company, makers of wheat checks, corn checks, and rice checks, and hot instant Ralston. And now here's the star of our show, Pat Harrington Jr. <laughs> Tonight's show should really be unusual because it's the first Stump the Stars Challenge match. Now, I guess you noticed that the sofa on my right, the Challenger sofa, is empty. Several weeks ago, when Dick Van Dyke appeared on our show, he enjoyed himself so much that he suggested his gang on his show should challenge our panel of regulars. This challenge has been accepted, with relish, I should note. And uh, tonight is the night. The Dick Van Dyke Show versus the Stump the Star regulars. Now, where are those foolhardy challengers? Here they come. No fraternization until after the show. Oh, excuse me. Let's All right. Now let's meet these challengers from the Dick Van Dyke show. First, the peerless leader himself, Mr. Dick Van Dyke. Hey! Dick, uh, why don't you introduce the rest of your cast uh, to us? Oh, okay, these are my sweethearts here. Oh, <laughs> Every one of them. Oh, boy. This is Rosemarie. Play Sally Rogers on our show, and next, your name, sir. Uh, Buddy Terrell. <laughs> <laughs> this is Maury Amsterdam, who plays Buddy Terrell. <laughs> and down at the end is a very sweet young lady who plays my wife on the show, Mary Tyler Moore. Hey! And uh, now, since there can only be uh, four on a team, and we normally have six regulars on our show. Let's meet the four regulars that the Dick Van Dyke team has challenged. On my left, Sebastian Cabot, <laughs> Beverly Garland, Diane Doors, and Ross Martin. All right, now, teams, it's up to you. You've only got two minutes for each charade. Let's get things started right off here with Rosemary. Rosemary, you're up. Come on, now, don't be nervous. Pat, now, how does it feel? I mean, you know, you're challenging these, our regulars, and they have played together each week. They have played as a team, and they know all the short the stops and all the signs. How do oh, you well, feel? Oh, well, we've been rehearsing. You have? We've been rehearsing all week, and we're very conscious of signals, because when our director, John Rich, goes like this to us, we say, no, John, it's this. All right, let's see how you do, Rosemary. You have number six, suggested by Mrs. Gail Kaplan of Ludington, Michigan. There you go to start things off. Rosemary starts us off with a parody on a child's poem. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might. Oh, heck, it's a satellite. Uh, uh, child's child poem. Child parody. Parody on a child's poem. First, first word. First word. Up, guy. Sun. Sun. Moon. Heaven. Stars. Heaven. Star. 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 Bright. Bright. Star bright, starlight, star bright. Star bright. Starlight, star bright. Uh, first star I see tonight. First star I see tonight. I wish I may. I wish I might. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, remember.
remember? remember? Oh, no. Uh, idea? Oh, oh. 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 I wish I might. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Darn. Heck. Ah. Heck. <laughs> oh, 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 heck. Yeah. I, I thought. I, th I thought. I did. I. It's. It's. it's oh, heck. Oh, heck it's, it's, it's a, 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 it's a, uh, oh heck, it's oh, a, oh heck, it's a, uh, three syllables, policeman. first syllable, policeman, <laughs> first syllable, sit, satellite, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight, I wish I may, I wish I might, oh heck, it's a satellite. And the challengers start out with a 78-second charade by Rosemary, and that's great. All right. Let's meet the first member of the champions, Sebastian Cabot. Now, Sebastian, I have noticed you have been playing each week against Diana Dorr. Yeah. How does it feel to have Diana now on your team and be playing with uh, Diana? You know, when we play together, there's no quarter asked or given. What a bunch of popinjays challenges. <laughs> say, my friend, it's all for one and one for all. Very good. Down, boy, down. All right. <laughs> now then, Sebastian, you have number 10, suggested by Mrs. Richard Hansen of Blooming Prairie, Minnesota. There you go. My home. Sebastian gets a song parody. The dancer twisted for her life when she backed in two. <laughs> back the night. Here we go. It's a it's song a parody. parody. Stop. Stop. Dancing. Dancing. The dance. The dance. The dancer. The dancer. The dancer. Twist. 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 Dancer twisted. For her. For her. Love. For her. Death. For her. For her. The for her life. For her life. The dancer twisted for her life. Come on. When. 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 She. she back, back. Into. When she. But when she backed into the A. Notes, when she when backed, she backked into, into it sounds, sounds like, like briefcase putting things trunk. in something. Uh, it's like, it's a, like trunk. a trunk in a uh, case. Uh, drawer. Pack. Draw, it's pack. packed. When, when she, she backed into, into, into sounds like pack. pack. Back. 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 Rack, sack, pack, oh. whack, sack, whack, uh, whack, pack, whack, 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 Dancer twisted for her life when she backed into Mac the Knife. Now, uh, this is, of course, hindsight. However, Sebastian might have suggested a proper name which might have gotten yeah. Mac the Knife. All right, let's go to the checkerboard and see how we stand up to the first two players. Ooh. Rosemary, you took 78 seconds, and Sebastian, you took 82 seconds, so the challengers are now ahead by four seconds. these things. You have two minutes to get your charade. Two minutes? I'll be right on a note, I guarantee. At I'll, least, at I'll least. Come. I got, I got sand in my head. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> sand in your head? Yeah, I got an hourglass. Keeps going around like this. No glass. problem. Let's just stand it there. All right, Maura, you have number five, suggested by Mrs. James Sunderland of Lima, Ohio. There my you go, home, Maury. Lima, Ohio. <laughs> it's a punchline right. for Maury Amsterdam. Her voice was so bad when she sang Time on My Hands, <laughs> Big Ben had a stroke. <laughs> punchline. Punchline. She, she her, 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 her voice was a so, her voice was so tough, bad, so loud, hard, bad. That her voice was so bad that bad. Uh, her voice was when, so bad when, when she, she sang, sang <laughs> time stood time. still, time uh, watch, the clock, uh, time. time, a certain time, uh, same, as time. same as time, now, uh, wristwatch, with a band, clock. Time. Forget it. Babe, uh, her, her voice, voice was, was so bad, bad when she, when she sang. sang. Time, time on my hand? Time on my hand. Very good. Yeah. That? All? Big? Big. 
I'm on my hands. Big, big Ben, ben big stood. Big Ben stood still. Big Ben. Big Ben, well, ben had, 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 had. Had a headache? Had, huh? <laughs> had uh, hit, had, hit, had, hit, had, hit, number, hit. Big no. Ben hit. Whack. Struck, gone. Uh, Boom. Struck. struck. Big, big Ben. ben. Don't, listen, Maury, don't forget these two names. Yeah, don't forget the what. I get there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> had, Big Ben had a, two, had, had a, a Stroke. I think maybe I inadvertently helped you there. I didn't mean to. Her voice was so bad when she sang Time on My Hands, Big Ben Had a Stroke. I thought I noticed Maury forgetting Hattie, and I guess when I told him and he gave you A, that helped, helped you out. All right, Maury, that took you 80 seconds. Very, very good. Now then, let's meet our second champion, Beverly Garland. Beverly, come on, come on. All right, now, Beverly, you have number three, okay. suggested by Catherine Martin of Dallas, Texas. Okay. And remember, the pride of the champions on Stump Take the Stars time, is at stake. <laughs> Take your time. Ah! Well, goodbye, champions. It's the entire quotation for Beverly. Oh. For want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, the rider was lost. For want of a rider, the battle was lost. For want of a battle, the kingdom was lost. And all for the loss of the horseshoe nail. That long to read. Oh. Uh, what is it? What is it? It's a. What is it? Quotation. For. When? Who? Who? For whom? For whom? For when? For when? For why? 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 For Why? For Why? For Why? For 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 Why? For Why? For for when, when, what, which, why, where, who, why, when, why, where, which, while, for give, while, for, for say, ah! <laughs> one of a, a nail, the horse, the shoe was lost, for want of a shoe, the horse was lost, for want of the horse, the battle was lost, and all for want of a nail, for want of the battle, what the horse. The rider. The rider was lost. For what of the rider? The battle was lost. For what of the battle? The kingdom was lost. And all for and all for what of a horseshoe nail. All right, now let's check the checkerboard and see how we stand after four plays. Um, let's see, Maury Amsterdam, you took 80 seconds, and Beverly Garland, you took 79 seconds, so the challenger's lead has been cut to three seconds. Three seconds, Maury. This is getting exciting. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, here's uh, Lee Goodman with something pretty wild. <laughs> Just part of my demonstration. You see, a lot of a lot of Americans wake up grouchy in the morning. They go around snarling and raging like a wild, untamed jungle beast. Uh, down, boy, down. Well, this is where Wheat Chex cereal comes in. You see, Wheat Chex is bite-sized little biscuits of whole grain with shredded wheat. It has a rugged texture that makes it especially appeal to grown-ups. And its square shape and rugged texture keeps it crisp and crunchy even when it's sitting in milk or cream. Gives you something to sort of gnash your teeth on. And especially if you wake up grouchy and snarling. And... and after you've gnashed your teeth on crunchy wheat checks for a while, you're all set to go out and really face the world. <laughs> of course, some people stay grouchy all day in spite of wheat check. I mean, it's a delicious cereal, but it can't change human nature. Worth a try, though. That's wheat check, the grown-up cereal from Checkerboard Square. 
and great for kids who want to be like grown-ups, too.